it's good to see you. In this video, we're gonna be putting a wood burning stove in our RV. A wood burning stove in an RV? That can't be safe. Oh no, wait, okay, so I could see the confusion. It's not like a home wood burning stove, like one of the big ones. It's a small one made for small spaces, specifically for RVs. Now listen here, young lady. Wood burning stove in an RV can't be safe. No, no, I assure you, it's so safe. It's completely safe. They make it for RVs. They have all this parts and everything, and if you install it the way they tell you, it's 100% safe. We're just excited to be able to put a wood burning stove in there to save on propane, cut down cost. Seems like a great idea to us. And plus, it's gonna keep us really toasty and warm. This is the great country of America. In the great country of America, we use propane. I don't know about all that sustainable eco shit. I'm not having it. Why don't I just show you the website and then maybe it'll clear up the confusion and you'll kind of understand that it's really safe and really good idea. It's like thousands and thousands of people are putting this in their rigs. I'm gonna tell you right now, I didn't understand a word you just said. Now why don't you go and get yourself one of them RV parks and use electricity and propane like the rest of us good Americans. Bottom line is it can't be safe. Okay, Uncle Tom, it's time for you to go because we've got work to do. We will agree to disagree because we're putting this wood burning stove in our freaking RV, man. We are about to put the wood burning stove in our RV, but before we do, we got to call him back up. I know the perfect person that will help us get this done. As you can see, we have all the tools we need. We have our tool belt, we have our wrench, we have our hammer, our measuring tape, our saw, our nails, and our wood. We're all set. Let's get started. Okay, I know what you're thinking. We might need a little extra help. And I actually know the perfect final freaking addition to this RV wood burning stove build. fire in it before you install it just to cure it so that's what I'm gonna do right now so cool okay so we've got this platform that we've built we decided to do this because it's it's just more sturdy we got some some um, plywood that's super thick made out of hardwood and we have the cement spacers and we have the cement board on the top and what we're going to do is we're going to put um, a layer of tin foil which might sound tacky but that's the cheapest way we can do it ideally probably sheet metal or some type of um, tile with grout but maybe at some point we'll do that but for now we're going to stick to tin foil and make it look as good as possible and we just got these these stands that we that um dan drilled into the ground um and we had to this this leg right here we cut a hole in the table um and the reason why we spaced it like that was just because if you look underneath there is some stuff under there it looks like there's a tank under there and some pipes and stuff so that was where we placed it based on where we could put the leg all the way down to the ground as you can see so we definitely got a little creative with this and yeah i'm excited to see how it turns out so this is with the tin foil on the bottom Always a good thing when your son can sleep through drilling. So this is the piece of cement board we just got up on the siding. So the one thing you have to make sure you do when you're working with cement board is you want to always drill a pilot hole because if you send a nail straight through, it does crack it.
All right, we have this little hole traced out. Now it's time to cut a hole in the roof. I'm kind of nervous. We just cemented this pipe down into the chimney with this stove gasket cement stuff that came with the um, stove. So the next thing we did is we added this connector piece to the black pipe. And this connector piece goes inside the black pipe and then you put a little fastener on it and tighten it. And then we did a, the larger double insulated pipe inside the connector on the other end. And then we put a fastener there and tightened it really well. And then we are just gonna drill these metal plates to the roof, just to protect the roof. But we have the pipe, the double insulated pipe coming up. We have a little fastener. I think we put the cap up on there and the fastener. The cap is good so we can drive with it. And then once we get wherever we're going, we'll pop. We'll take that little fastener off and we'll take the cap off and we'll just, you know, set up the rest of it for now. That's what we're going to do. As you can see, I'm going to show you guys what pipe it was because we just didn't have this one. But this is the other one we're going to pop on the top once we get there. This is the, the uh, pipe right here. This is going to go on top. This is like the little chimney thing um, that will go on the top. So we'll have all that good to go. So that's the pipe that you see right here. That's another one. And then we're just going to pop the other one on top of that when we get where we're going. So, and we got these little plates on the top to protect the roof. Yeah, it's looking good.